Hey, this is Hans, and it's time for the Ramen Raiders Bottom 10 Instant Noodles of All Time, 2022 edition. So today I present my absolute least favorite instant noodles that I've ever had. This is out of 4,120 reviews I've done. Let's get started. At number 10, we have Miyojo with their spicy yuzu maze soba from Japan. Yuzu is kind of a citrus kind of flavor, and with the sauce and everything, this just kind of imparted the essence of what a McDonald's dumpster full of salad would smell like on a hot sunny day. Definitely no. <laughs> And in at number nine, we have Ace Cook with their Fujiko Tororo Pure Kombu Soba from Japan. Yeah, this one was absolutely horrible. The noodles themselves weren't so bad, but the broth, let me just say, put it this way. It mentions 20% on the lid. I don't know what it's referring to, but I'm guessing that's like 20% extra chance of uh, experiencing vomiting. So yeah, it's, in my opinion, steer clear. <laughs> In at number eight, we have Nissen with their Donbei Simple Taste Somen, another one from Japan. This one, the noodle is like kind of dry and stringy, and the worst part is the fish and yuzu flavor. It was uh, it was absolutely unpalatable. I couldn't take it. In at number seven, we have Yumai with their Lazy Noodle Sichuan Green Pepper Flavor, and this one hails from China. The noodle, eh, not so much, but the flavor, oh, I mean, it kind of is reminiscent of pine salt and just that so much of that kind of strong, spicy and pine salt flavor is just way too reminiscent of some kind of crazy public restroom. I know this one. Absolutely no. In at number six, we have Panda Signature with their ramen noodle soup chili lime flavor. And this one's made in China for the United States and Walmart in particular. This one, in my opinion, tastes like, have you ever stayed at a motel, like a crummy motel? Like one where it's pretty sure that the AC hasn't been turned on in maybe like two years and you get that funky smell. That's what these taste like, is the smell of cheap motel room air conditioning turned on for the first time in years. So if you like that, dig in. <laughs> in at number five, we have Isoyama Shoji with their 18 prohibited curry ramen. And this one's from Japan. This is one of the absolute spiciest instant noodles I've ever had. This is generally number two on my top 10 list. I don't know if you can get this in pack form. I have seen uh, bowls of this lately. It's a huge serving. It requires 700 mils of water. I figured that meant it wasn't going to be that spicy. Boy, was I wrong. It is very, very spicy. The flavor is kind of like curry and burnt plastic. And it's absolutely horrible. So. If you can eat this whole thing, I've yet to see anyone actually scarf down mukbang style an entire bowl of this stuff. Uh, good luck. I can't do it, and I've eaten some of the spiciest instant noodles in the world. This one, generally spicy stuff does have a decent flavor. This one doesn't have a good flavor. There's way too much of it, and it's absolutely filthy, disgusting stuff. In at number four, we have Szechuan Baija with their single noble black bone chicken flavor sweet potato noodle from China. Now, this one tastes like medicine because it's supposed to emulate a soup that's medicinal. It's supposed to help with like, like the regular version, like if you made it homemade, black bone chicken soup is supposed to help ladies with their having cramps and this just tastes like a horrible medicinal big sloppy pile of really gross stuff i've had products from this company that i used to not like and i acquired a taste to it this one no so yeah that's saying something i i really really dislike this and i've hated it for years <laughs> In at number three, we have Marishan with their Bariuma Goboten Udon from Japan. So 
You might have heard of a vegetable called burdock root, and it's not bad in small quantities. But this has so much earthy, funky burdock root in it, it's literally like eating a bowl of worms and dirt. It's, it's just, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. It just made me want to barf the whole time. Not, not a recommendation for me on this one, no. In at number two, we have Dr. McDougal with his vegan pod thai noodle soup from the United States. You know, people here in the United States equivocate pod thai with noodles with kind of a peanut sauce and maybe a little bit of spiciness, maybe some shrimp or chicken. And pod thai literally just means Thai noodles, so we can get that out of the way. But it doesn't mean horrible, okay? This stuff has a very thin broth, very flavorless and funk. The noodles are like very short rice noodles, and they're broad ones too. And then it's got little bits of tofu in it. Generally, I love tofu with, tofu with instant noodles. Unfortunately, they're like uh, Swiss Miss marshmallows. This is basically like if the Swiss Miss chick dropped 20 hits of acid and couldn't handle any food that tasted good. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I highly do not recommend this one. And in at number one on the bottom 10 instant noodles of all time, 2022 edition, we have Simply Asia with their Singapore Street Noodles Classic Curry from the United States. This is so diametrically opposed to anything that I've pr tried that has anything to do with the name Singapore. Uh, this doesn't taste like curry. It just basically tastes like a noodle doused in lemongrass oil. It is horrible. Don't recommend it. It's cheap. I mean, you can try it. I think the one that I got was a buck, but I know this is so nasty. I can't, I, it, it's really kind of an insult to like Singaporean curry. I don't know what they were thinking, but I don't know. Somebody's got to like it, I guess. All right, and there you go. There's my bottom 10 picks for 2022. If you've tried something that you absolutely hate, drop me a line and I might be interested in trying it. I really like trying the, the stuff that I give zero stars to. It's not very common that I give a zero star rating and it's kind of exciting to try something that I really just don't end up liking. My favorite instant noodle is the one that I've never tried before. So like it or not, I'm happy to try something new. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye.